Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we'll be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember, anytime you work on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. In this video, we're going to show you how to change out the Kenmore washer or tub cover. It's going to be a very easy repair. It's going to take a few minutes to show you how to do it. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can click on the link below or get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. When you open the package, you're going to get the new tub cover. The tub cover covers up the space in between the inner and the outer tubs. The manager will be changing it out, so if it's damaged, and your clothes are getting caught on it. In order to change the part, we have to lift up the top of the washer. First thing we're going to do is go around back. Now that we're around back, we're going to use the corner inch nut driver to take out the screw that holds this panel on. Once you have the screw out, you can swing the panel over and lift it off the mounting tabs. Now that we have the panel off, we have to remove the upper screw on the hinges. There's one on each side we're going to take out. We're take these out so we can lift the top up. Once you have them out, we can go back up front. Now that we're back around front, we're going to tape the lid down so it doesn't fall when we lift up the top. Once you have it taped down, we can lift up the top. First, we're going to pull it forward and lift up on it and push back and lift at the same time. Once you have it raised, we're going to Put a lanyard on here to support it. I'm just going to hook the lanyard up onto the top and then down to the frame. Now that we have the top lifted up, we have access to the tub cover. There are little tabs that go all the way around that the tub cover hook on. You don't want to just pull on these and try to get them to release. We're going to push down on the tub cover a little bit to release some of the tension and then we can pull out to pop it off. You don't want to break any of those tabs off the outer tub. Once you have all the locking tabs released, you can lift the tub cover off and pull it out of the washer. Here's the old tub cover next to the new one. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. To put the new tub cover in, just want to set it onto the outer tub. You just want to make sure it's lined up right with the bleach cup in the front left corner. And then we're going to go around and push it down so all the locking tabs snap on. Once you have it snapped in place, we can put the top down. To put the top down, we're just going to take the lanyard off. And then we can lower the top down. As you're lowering it down, you want to make sure that these tabs go into their slots. And once you have it all the way down, you can pull it forward so it drops down. And then push it back to lock it in. Once you have it locked in, we can take the tape off the lid and go around the back. Now that we're on back, we're going to use the corner shut driver to put in the screws that hold the hinge to the top. Once you have these in, you can put the cover back on. You just need to line up the two tabs and swing the panel over. Once you have it in place, you can use the quarter inch nut driver to put in the screw. Now that we have the washer put back together, you can plug it back in and take a first spin. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. Check out our other repair videos on our site, Facebook, and YouTube.